Nvidia said that it's launching its Jetson Thor computer in the first half of this year, 2025. And it's pretty cool because Thor is designed specifically to power humanoid robots. Now, NVIDIA already has this whole Jetson platform and Jetson Thor is going to be part of that platform and this platform has a bunch of different computers. All of them are very compact and high performance computers and designed specifically for AI edge use cases just that Jetson Thor is the first one which is going to be specifically there for this humanoid robotic use case. And now, if you're not aware, NVIDIA has this whole AI ecosystem going on, right? So hardware is one part where we have the computers and chips, but then there are three more pillars of an AI ecosystem, software, simulation, and cloud. Now for software, NVIDIA offers its CUDA platform CUDA, which you have to use if you want to work with its computer and chips. For cloud, it has this thing Osmo. And the cool thing is simulation where you can basically use NVIDIA's ISEC sim platform to create virtual environment where you can test robots virtually without actually having them deployed on ground, which helps you refine robot behaviors. Now, the interesting thing is that NVIDIA doesn't plan to make its own robots. It's going to act like a operating system. Think of it like how Android uh, operating system powers so many different smartphone manufacturers. Likewise, NVIDIA wants to be the OS to every single uh, robotic manufacturer. But it still has competition, right? Amazon and Google are also planning to have their own uh, AI chips to power similar such humanoid robots. So that's there, but it's not easy to make AI chips for such use cases, mostly because such computers and such chips have this major challenge that they have to have a very high performance so that the robots can do real-time processing. At the same time, they have to be extremely, extremely power efficient. They have to operate within strict power and also thermal limits because if they don't do that, then the batteries of these robots will get drained out very fast. And also because of thermal issues, it might lead to other different kinds of risk, which is what makes it a little difficult for something like Jetson Thor to have come up any earlier. Anyway, I'm sure that in 2025, all those working robotics, especially already working with something in the NVIDIA ecosystem, are looking forward to Jetson Thor and can't look forward to see the kind of robots that hit the market this year. My name is Amrit. I'm on a mission to help the world and businesses communicate better. Especially if you're a B2B business and think B2B is boring, you can hire me to help you bring brand clarity, solve all your communication problems. I can also, of course, fix the website, copy and design and make high quality, awesome videos for you.